there's no doubt that as far as the Women's Super League is concerned, Manchester is sky blue. Players have been good this week, preparation has gone well. Uh, we were able to use the, the pitch yesterday, which was great. And we really appreciate that support from, from the ground staff. And yeah, we're really looking forward to, to being here tomorrow in front of our supporters. I think there's an extra bit of energy, an extra bit of passion that comes in in Derby week. And we're all really, really looking forward to being at the Etihad. To be involved in these types of games, I mean, what more could you want? You know, Manchester Derby being played at the Etihad in front of great support. They're not going to be phased by the occasion. They've been here, they've done it. And I think it's going to be a really professional performance today. Man United will be hoping to come out on the front foot. Considering this occasion here at this stadium, the fans are going to be incredible. We're playing the biggest rivals. Um, I think the girls are going to be excited and understand they have a job to do and just super focused on that. Well, welcome to what is a cracking atmosphere here at the Etihad Stadium. A special day, a day perhaps of records to tumble, but above everything else, it is a Manchester derby. Is there any fixture in football quite like a derby? Whatever the circumstances, whatever may be at stake, it guarantees intensity, intrigue and entertainment. But the Blues are battling it out for the WSL title itself only serves to intensify the importance of this City versus United clash. Even the City boss Gareth Taylor describes this as the biggest Manchester derby yet. Such is its significance. City are neck and neck with leaders Chelsea at the WSL Summit. Neither wants to be the first team to blink. It means that while bragging rights are always a pleasant bonus for today's winner, nobody will lose sight of that much bigger picture. Well, City have never lost a home derby to United. If they can keep that proud record intact this afternoon, they will go top of the WSL table. That said, I'm sure they'll feel that a victory is essential to maintain the pressure and they draw on for Chelsea side. United are building down the right side. He's in a tussle. It's a good ball into the area. That's a great save from Kiara Keating. And Nikita Paris has the first meaningful attempt on target in the match. Driving forward this time, brings in Pop. Pop might think about shooting, it's on target! And it's a good little sort of parry to the right side by Erch. I think you'd have always felt the goalkeeper was going to save it, but it was worth an effort. Kept in the left wing position, while he's gone on her outside. Good run from the fullback. Cross comes in, Shaw can't reach it! Park does! Jess Park! 1-0 City, side foot into the corner of the net. The cross came in from the left from Uwabi, and it was a really neat finish. She let it come across her body, and with the outstretched side foot, guided it beyond Mary Ertz. It's City 1, United 0. Jess Park opens the scoring. It's a first WSL goal of the season. What a time to get it. Oh, I'm so happy for her, Ali, honestly. The way she slotted in just when the team needed her most. City pick it up again with Kasparai. Kasparai into the final third she goes. Fowler further round. Fowler. A little deflection on the cross, was there? Is it a corner? I think it is, yeah. City corner on this near side. Might be going short with this one, they are. Mark and Fowler cooking something up. Fowler helps it on to Hasegawa. Targets on the far post. Tom and, oh, a chance and a second goal for Park! Hesitancy for United. They look for an offside. There isn't one. We spoke about a second goal just before the half-time whistle. I think Karen said it would be swell. Well, it is. It's 2-0. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Really, really well worked. A 2v1 at this near side of the corner. Ball into Yui Hasegawa, and she just lifts it lovely into that back post face for a header across the front. You can see Jess Park was peeling off as soon as that ball was launched in from Yui. And City lead by two Jess Park goals to nil right before the half-time whistle. And there is the half-time whistle. And what a good first half it's proven to be for the Blues. 
really open contest actually the first 20 25 minutes just about shaded by the visitors and so at half time it is so far so very very good for the blues they lead the manchester derby by two goals to nil what a fantastic first half you have to say two goals seven and one minute from the half time interval from jess park Perfect opportunity to go on and grab the victory today he had to make it an alteration because Mayor Alexandri broke down in the warm-up and Alana Kennedy came in but City now looking to get Shaw in, she's in the area, can she finish? You bet she can! A record-breaking goal for Bunny Shaw and perhaps in terms of the WSL title race and this particular Manchester derby that might just be the decisive goal. City with a goal within moments of the restart. City 3, United 0, Bunny Shaw. I absolutely adore that goal. Sit around Mary Earps who pounds the floor in frustration. What a goal. Well, once Bunny Shaw gets beyond you, you've got no chance. Tell you what, she's in that kind of mood that everything seems to drop for. Nice one two, which releases Hemp into a crossing position. Good little dig ball, Shaw on the far, heads it over the bar. Tell you what, by her lofty standards, that's a terrific opportunity. Stays at 3-0. Games, United drive forward again, getting towards the edge of the penalty area as they do so. And the City have held, United still have it with the... Larson, cross comes in from Manu away by Kennedy, further by Fowler, still in and around the City penalty area there. Cross comes in, deflection on, it's gone in. It's a deflection that spanned beyond Keating and into the back of the City goal. It was Blundell that hit the ball, but it was a City player that diverted it past Keating. And the United fans behind the right-hand goal that they're attacking all rise to their feet because United have themselves a bit of a lifeline. And it's City 3, United 1. Still 3-1, it's gone down as a Blundell goal, it probably might go down as a Casprey own goal. Chance for a fourth goal, Fowler, on towards Shaw, first time effort off balance. Still not been cleared, well in the context of goal difference, maybe a fourth goal would have been lovely but it doesn't matter because the full time whistle has gone. Staggering 11 WSL wins in a row for the Blues. Final score, City 3, United 1. Yeah, these games are not easy and they have to be really fought hard to win and we did that. We, we defended when we needed to and we scored quality goals when we needed to.